The internet is roasting Jennifer Lopez. Jenny from the block. They're getting her, Dane. Oh, man. What are we doing today? A lot of this comes from a single clip from uh, Jennifer Lopez's new documentary that's going to be on Prime. It's called The Greatest Love Story Never Told. This is not, this is not sponsored. I don't know. I feel like I should tell you. Anyway, this is it. <laughs> I like to get my hair out like this. It reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. Any and every time she can, possibly, she's got to bring up the block, Dane. Yeah. <laughs> running up and down the block. Because she's so hood, Kenny. She's so, she's she so used hood. to have a little. Now she has a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now, this has sparked a lot of debate about, like, uh, where is the block? And where did Jennifer Lopez even come from? And we're going to we're gonna <laughs> talk about a lot of that stuff. But uh, she's got this... Uh, this documentary coming out she also has a had a movie that just came out called like the, this is me now which has uh this review here has one half of a star but it got rounded up <laughs> where they reviewed it <laughs> as the show is just a rambling mess it's like how am i this sentence constructing that i am just here did <laughs> See what I did there? That's like the movie. I think she's trying to make like a big comeback or something on there. Like she's got a movie, her documentary, all the stuff. She's trying to like, I don't know, be talked about again. But I don't think anyone's cared about Jennifer Lopez in a while. Quite a while, actually. Yeah, I haven't even heard that name in a long time. She's canceling tour. Like she's canceled concerts because of like low ticket sales. Even though like floor tickets are like two thousand dollars, a thousand five hundred, something like that. Some oh, crazy price. Gross. So before we get too far into it, uh, where did J Jennifer Lopez come from? Does anybody even know? I do. <laughs> I looked it oh, up. Nice. I looked it All up. Right. So Jennifer Lopez started out, she's an actress, and her first big break, she was in a couple of movies, but her first big break was the movie Selena. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, so she played Selena, who was a, uh, a singer who died in 1995. She was shot by the president of her own fan club and also a manager of her boutique like her clothing line and they were embezzling money and shot her and then soon after like she died in 1995 1997 they brought up the movie uh starring jennifer lopez two years later after that on the six her first album dropped and um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say this dane i think jennifer lopez hijacked selena's career <laughs> oh she, dude i remember her as selena I remember, like, like halfway through my life, I'm just like, yo, who are, where's Selena? I need Selena. And, mm. I'm, and really, I'm thinking Jennifer Lopez. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then when I found out she was singing, I was like, no way, dude. That was so, you know, the, you know just, I was just connected some dots. I don't know, but it's just like, as I'm, like, going through the dates and everything, like, right after Selena's death, they started producing the movie, and two years later it came out, and then two years later she's got her own album, and then she's an actress and songwriter, and yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting <laughs> if you take it out and think about it like that, I guess. But, you know, so anyway, the Internet's been kind of ripping into her. And, and Jennifer Lopez's her music career has even been called into question quite a bit. You have this interview here. So Rodney wrote really the same song. Honestly, if you hear my song, it's the really? same song. Oh, Mine says, wow. if you had my love and better than gave me, if you had my trust, would you you? So, you know, the, you know, maybe wow. she, did she hijack a song, maybe? And so there's wow. even allegations that uh, Shantae is like her ghost singer uh, and that Mariah <laughs> Carey has been calling out Jennifer Lopez for being a fraud for years. If, if you look on the internet, there's also uh, a Saturday Night Live clip where they say that they have the, her raw vocals in it. And, oh, uh, no. and, and then the post vocals. I'm not going to play it. will probably get claimed if I do for the song, but uh, it's it's <laughs> very different. So, yeah, people have just been kind of going through all this stuff on the Internet. And do you remember do you remember this, Dane, where, where, where Jennifer Lopez goes back to the block and nobody knows who she is? I <laughs> know. My name is Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah, I used to live up and I, my room was upstairs right there. Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez. Who's Jennifer Lopez? Me. I used to live here. <laughs> uh, like whatever whatever kid <laughs> i've been here a long time <laughs> and so the whole reason that i'm even bringing this video up is because uh, i saw a creator make a video about the first time that they met jennifer lopez on the block because a lot of people are like where is the block in the bronx like she keeps talking about it but where where is it you know okay this, and this guy gives a lot of insight and about a time that j-lo came to visit 
Since everybody's talking about Jennifer Lopez and this clip, I thought I would also share my childhood trauma involving meeting this woman for the first time on the block. So fun fact about me, I used to go to the school that JLo's mother taught at and that JLo herself attended mm. was Holy Family School in the Bronx. And notice how I said was. The man's got like the details, Dane. He's gonna, he's gonna get into this. Okay. All right, all right. When JLo's mom was there, she like just retired. And I believe the reason why she retired was because she won $2.4 million in a lottery. And she was like, Bye. Wait, what? JLo's mom won $2.4 million in the lottery? Nice. After her daughter is Jennifer Lopez making all that money? All right. What a lucky family. I also went to the same pizza place she would go to, Cross Bronx Pizza. And I also went to the same after school program that she went to, the Kips Bay uh, Boys and Girls Club. And as you can see here, the pizza place, the mm. school, and the Boys and Girls Club are all on there Castle is, Hill Dane. Avenue in the Bronx. And this is what I think she refers to as the block. The block. The block, AKA Castle Hill Avenue. She's from the streets. Cause, cause technically her address is on a street. <laughs> 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 now on to the main event. It is 2002, if I remember correctly. I did not know who Jennifer Lopez was. I was kind of a nerdy child. It's okay. Everyone, everybody from the block apparently didn't know who she was, so it's fine. You, you fit right in. <laughs> 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 but from that day on, let's just say I knew who J Lo was. And as I turn the corner, I just see kids getting pushed, like punted. Next thing you know, I'm getting pushed also into the floor, and I like fell next to the staircase, and I'm just like, what is, what is happening? And that's when I catch a glimpse of this woman like not acknowledging anything that's happening she's walking between her bodyguards and then she's out the door but just imagine that you're going to school and then JLo's bodyguards are just like stiff arming kids out of the way you know <laughs> and she's just walking over bodies she, just kind of stepping just, not paying attention or looking them. nowhere <laughs> yeah. get out of the way peasants flash forward a couple of minutes after my concussion subsided and I picked up all of my belongings I made my way out of the front door of the school over here and I wanted to go to my favorite pizza place down the street because I had 50 cents and I knew a pizza roll would help me forget about this whole thing. But then I noticed the large crowd outside and then I realized that woman was probably inside of the establishment. <laughs> that woman, he couldn't even go to his favorite pizzeria, Dane. J Jennifer wow. Lopez ruined everything for this kid's day. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a monster. So I actually found this article from 2002 and even back then people were saying that she's a phony and a fake and doesn't do anything for the block. Ooh. Kind of freaking out because this article is about that day. Look, she visited Holy Family School for the cameras. <laughs> And then she went to Lacrosse Bronx Pizza Shop. Here it is. Here it is. Bodyguard shoved excited kids out of the way. <laughs> Residents said, leaving one tiny fan in tears. See, I wasn't lying. <laughs> it was him. He was the one crying. <laughs> His concussion it hurt. <laughs> it's, it's all, the thing, I guess, the crazy part about it, the block and like, you know, Jeannie from the block and her going to visit for the cameras and stuff is everyone just calls her out the whole time. Like no one's ever like, yeah, this is like a good, wholesome story. It's always yeah, just well, like. Yeah, glad you're back. Yeah, it always seems to be just a just a crap show, but she's like, she's owning it. That's her identity as much as she talks wow. about it. I don't know how much she's helped the community, but anyway. Well, not only do we have the, the previous creator that was talking about how his experience with J-Lo coming back, we got another one who says that J-Lo is just all, she's, she's full of crap. So we'll see what she says. <clears throat> I'm a Puerto Rican woman from the Bronx who went to the same high school as you and you're lying. You did not have hair like that. And we also both attended an all girls Catholic high school in an Irish and Italian neighborhood. So you weren't running up and down the block. You know damn well you were sitting next to Megan Farley and Christine Marchetti in class. Why are you lying? Please stop using us <laughs> to look human. We are sick of you. Keep our names out of your mouth. <laughs> We're not running up and down the block. Not all of us do that for kicks. You're stupid. <laughs> oh! So they're just like, stop using us to look human. Leave the block alone, J-Lo. My hair out like this. It reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. Like crazy little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, I get maybe she's back. Maybe she's not. Don't really carry the way. Thank you guys very much for watching. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. Say hello my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. This is not, this is not sponsored. <laughs>